Praise the Lord and blessings to you on this Wednesday, January the 17th, 2024. The psalmist says in Psalm 95, 1, Come, let us sing for joy to the Lord. Let us shout aloud to the rock of our salvation. Welcome to St. John AME Church in Cleveland, Ohio, where I, Henry Curtis, serve as pastor. Thank you for joining us today. And as always, I pray that you are safe and well wherever you are and that God will richly bless you today. Let us begin our time together with prayer. Dear God, we thank you that we need never feel forsaken. We thank you that we are led and guided by your hand. We thank you for all we have received from you, your care for our bodies, for our material needs, and for our inner life. We praise you, O oh God. Continue to lead us, we pray. Continue to work among us so we can all see and come to know that the Good Shepherd is leading us. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Our scripture lesson today comes from Romans, the fifth chapter, verses six through eight. Hear the word of the Lord. While we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. Why, one will hardly die for a righteous man, though perhaps for a good man one will dare even to die. But God shows his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. The word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Our key verse today is Romans 5 and 6. While we were still weak at the right time, Christ died for the ungodly. Let us pray. Lord, speak to me that I may speak in living echoes of thy tone. As thou hast sought, so let me seek thine erring children lost and lone. Now may the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight, O Lord, my strength and my redeemer. In Christ's holy name we pray, amen. The headline of an article that I read in the Washington Post captured my attention. The headline said, and I quote, Some restaurants have receipts on the walls. Anyone who is hungry can grab one for a free meal. The article went on to say that in a number of growing restaurants, the walls are decorated with hanging receipts. Anyone can walk in pull down a receipt and order a meal free of charge. The receipts are put there by customers who prepay for food and tack the receipt to the wall, leaving them an offer for anyone who is hungry. When we go to a restaurant, most of us don't mind picking up the tab for a family member or a friend. But here, we see the generosity of people as they pick up the tab so that strangers whom they will never meet may have a meal to eat. For the hungry, the prepaid meals are right on time. They don't have to go another moment nor another day without receiving adequate nutrition. For some, that meal may be the difference between life and death. And it's good to know, as I read that article, that in this world filled with selfishness and evil, there are still people of goodwill out there who follow Jesus's mandate to love their neighbor as they love themselves, even if their neighbor is anonymous. In today's lesson, the Apostle Paul, in reference to Jesus, speaks of the timeliness and the significance of our Lord's sacrifice. Paul says, while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. Jesus did not have to do it, but he did. He did not come for the righteous, but rather Jesus came to save the sinner. The prepaid meal receipts hanging on the restaurant walls are not intended to be a freebie for those who could afford to pay the meal themselves. Those receipts are for those who cannot pay, and without the generosity of others, they will not eat. Paul goes on to say in verse 7 of the text, Why? One will hardly die for a righteous man, 
though perhaps for a good man, one will dare even to die. And then in verse 8, Paul says, But God shows his love for us in that while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. Church, Jesus made the choice. He made the choice to lay down his life and pay the price for our sins, a price that none of us could pay. So today, we thank God for generous people who think it not robbery to bless a hungry stranger in need. And we also thank God today for Jesus Christ, his son, who thought it not robbery to die on the cross to save us and to secure us for a right to the tree of life. Reflecting on Paul's words that Jesus died for us at the right time, and the on-time blessing of those receipts hanging from the restaurant walls to feed the hungry, the following song comes to mind. He's an on-time God, yes he is. He's an on-time God, yes he is. Job said, he may not come when you want him, but he'll be there right on time. He's an on-time God, yes he is. Thanks be to God. Amen. Please join me in praying the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. Receive now God's blessing. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. This and all things we ask in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please accept this invitation for you to join us here at St. John AME Church on Sunday morning at 10 o'clock for worship in our sanctuary located at 2261 East 40th Street, Cleveland, Ohio, 44103. If you're unable to worship with us in person, we invite you to log on to our Facebook channel at 10 o'clock and later on this same YouTube station. If this video has been a blessing to you, please do the channel a favor by clicking the thumbs up button, by hitting the notification bell, and by subscribing to the channel and sharing the link with others. Thank you so much for being with us today. Have a great rest of the day, a great rest of the week, and we look forward to seeing you real soon. Until then, goodbye.